Hey Mommy with Style, we are back for another day of Vlogmas. Today is the 7th and we are headed out today to go to school. I've got to take some donation items in and it's just clothing and stuff like that. And then um, this morning Natalie and I are going to go meet one of my friends for like a little lunchy brunchy thing so that should be fun. I'm excited to see her. She's one of my longtime friends. So we always have a good time when we hang out and we have the same birthday, fun fact. Anyways, um, we're going to head out to take Isabella to school and um, should have a pretty fun day. Alright, we are here. We are at 12 Oaks which is a different one than I usually go to. So. I mean, I guess all malls look the same. There's Macy's. <laughs> but anyways, we're going to go in here and I'm going to grab some Starbucks and we're going to meet up with my friend and probably have some lunch. And then we're going to head home and try to get some household and R&D stuff done before we go pick up Bella. So it's just going to be a quick day. What's up, Squeaky? I want to get out. You want to get out? All right, let's get out. Your little Santa dome looks like Schomburg's actually. <laughs> we're not going to go see since we've already seen him, however, their little dome I think is exactly the same as what Schaumburg in Illinois has. Yeah. So it looks very similar to that. So Natalie is very excited because we stopped at the Disney store on the way home because she got a gift card for her birthday. And she had this particular aerial she had to pick out. We also got Sissy a Christmas gift from Natalie that she's going to wrap up. Alright, show me what you got. <laughs> She has fins that flap and she sings. Here, let me see the receipt. Sissy. <laughs> yeah, that's for sissies. And but, then we can wrap up your sister's Christmas gift and put it underneath the tree. You can have and a we first... have to help the fork also. Okay, we'll get it out of there. We're going to open and this thing have... up and see if it sings. And we have to help Ariel and Katie. There she is. Apparently Natalie had been looking at this every it's single time we've been in there and I didn't know it. She knew exactly what she was looking for. She just ran in and Ask the sales associate, I need the hard aerial that sings. That's what she calls Barbie dolls. We have hard Wait, dolls and soft dolls at our house. Yes, yeah, so I will get the anchor out too. I said to figure out how to open it here. What's missing from her collection? A fork. A fork? It's missing. Did you look in the box to see if it's in there? I did, but it's not in there. Well, you got to keep an eye out for it. It might be on the table. So Natalie's watching Mickey Mouse Clubhouse and apparently Bella is behind the cushion on the couch. So I'm sitting down in the playroom which is in its play mess status so there's probably like a gigantic mess behind me but um, I was going to just talk real quick. We This is kind of like our annual or semi-annual I'm sure a lot of people do it around this time uh, kind of toy reorganization so I go through and try to figure out what the girls are still playing with because obviously I'm preparing for influx of things and I kind of know what most of those things are going to be so I know about what the size dimensions are that we need to make space for and that sort of thing plus I just try to go through and see what the girls are still interested in and see if things just need to get rotated out or see if it's something that they really um, you know don't care for anymore have gotten bored with or whatever so I'm going to start assessing that so you'll see a little bit of that in the next couple of days of Vlogmas and one of the exciting things because of where we live now we live near a once upon a child which I love that store I used to go to that store all the time when Bella was a baby and um you know just like find good deals on Jimboree clothing and cute little dresses and stuff like that and they usually have a ton in tiny baby sizes now that the girls are older uh, and now that their styles are more particular, I can't use it so much for clothes and things like that. Although I do try to occasionally go look there. Um, but what it works great for is the stuff that they've outgrown using it for resale. You do just take the stuff in and it's actually not even consignment. Like you just take the stuff in and they either buy it or they don't. So we'll start getting stuff ready for that. So that's exciting because we're, you know, back close to one of those and it makes it a lot easier than trying to use like one of those you know, like garage sale, Facebook. I mean, I get really weirded out about, um, you know, like doing local sales stuff because we did have a really bad experience with Craigslist a number of years ago before we had kids. Uh, I think I've talked about this in a, another video a long time ago. Um, but anyhow, because we had that experience, like I don't uh, really do any like local sales stuff like that. So anyways, um, we're going to start doing toy reorganization. We need to do some toy cleaning. I don't know if I've shown it yet, but they have this little Christmas village out. So this is the one that we've had year after year, and it's from Fisher Price. 
But then we got a whole bunch of toys sent to us whenever my mom and my stepdad came over. My stepsister has a daughter that's just older than Isabella. And so, like, we get a lot of her stuff, like, when she outgrows it, which is great. It works out great for us. So we already had this little house and a little sleigh and everything that goes with that. And then it was a surprise. What she sent over was this whole, like, little people town and everything. And, like, this huge sleigh with, like, Santa. And it makes noises and it plays music. So that was really cool. Yeah, everything's going at one time. Yoda's like, see ya. So that was really cool. So we'll definitely keep this for, you know, them to bring out year after year. Sorry if the music's really annoying. I didn't realize how long it was going to play. <laughs> so this is what the Fisher Price Christmas sets do. Wow, they are never ending. <laughs> All right, anyways, I had to wait for like 20 seconds for the songs to end. Anyways, so they have this fun play set, and they've been playing with this a lot because this is the house that we've had for like a couple years. I think this I got this off of FisherPrice.com a couple years ago, and there's a Santa and sleigh and stuff that goes with this and like came with a couple kids. And then this little sleigh came with all these reindeer and a princess and a Santa. Oh, I, almost, I hit it again. Gosh. Anyway. <laughs> so that's been a fun new toy that they've started to play with. And the Doc McStuffins thing is obviously new, so that's going to stay. So the thing that I'm going to try to do is I've got to open a large space open behind me, if you get what I mean. Um, because they're getting a couple large things to go along with all of this doll stuff. So... Um, other than that, I don't know what all will change. Um, so I've tried to shift like the Trofast things down and I can even sh shift those even further down if I need to, to accommodate all this doll stuff. But we're basically getting storage things so they have something to put all their clothes in and just stuff to organize all this. And then they still have that dollhouse down there. Um, and then the Princess Castle. Uh, I think the ages on that are like two to five or something. It's like the last little people thing that we have left over and the accessories for that. Um, I don't know. I just think it's really cute. And Natalie does still play with that. Bella doesn't really play with that anymore. And then the kitchen is starting to not get a ton of use. So I've got to decide what to do with that over the next year or so. But all the larger pieces will stay about the same. So anyhow. So this is what the Christmas tree looks like all lit up. And then these are the lamps that I caught at Kirkland's. I absolutely love them. The shades are all sparkly and everything. So I've got one of them over here. And then the other one's over there in that corner. They go perfect in this room. So I'm liking how this came together for sure. So for dinner tonight, I'm going to make some manwich. We're just going to have some ground beef with the sloppy joe mix over it. And some chips and veggies. And that's going to be dinner for tonight. Alright, so this is dinner. Sloppy Joe's for dinner. And that is the kids. They get a half sandwich.